So I got 12 CEO type fragrances sitting right in front of me. Stay right there. As soon as we get back, I'm gonna run through this 12. They ain't in no order, but I got 12 good gems for you. All right, so stay right there. Back to doing another video. Sam Boom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. As I said in the intro, I have 12 fragrances, all CEO type fragrances, fragrances that I think most CEOs would probably be wearing. Right? Now, this is from my collection. I don't have all the fragrances in the world, but I think these fragrances right here represent what I think they would be wearing from my collection. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's all. I'm not asking you to pay for anything. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. You come back, you watch the videos. We've been getting good traction. So please do me that favor. Like, comment, subscribe, especially subscribe. I'm getting a lot of views. I'm getting a lot of people watching. I would appreciate if you guys go ahead and just hit that little button down there, that, that red button that says subscribe and join the party, all right? Or join the, join the family, because you all are family to me now. So let's get into this list. Again, not in any type of order. Um, I'm just gonna grab some randomly and we're gonna go through it. So the first one that I'm gonna grab, this is an old school fragrance. Saying that, it has a lot of notes involved in, these fra in, in, in this fragrance, all right? It's a ton of notes. Um, but I get like a old school rose. When I think of this fragrance, I just think how good it is because it just, as the day goes on, it just gets better and better to me. Um, but it's an old school fragrance. It's by Van Cleef Narpels, and this is Pour Ohm. Now, I know some people are gonna say, man, that's old as hell. But remember, some of these CEOs are older gentlemen. Some of these people that own these Fortune 500 companies, they're older gentlemen. So a fragrance like this that they probably started with a long time ago or still in their collection because they can't get over the smell. The smell is so good, so, so good. I'm telling you, you're looking at rose, carnation, um, you're getting some green notes. It's it's like a fougere, but it's an older school. It's an older feel. It is an older feel. I will give them that. But it's just so damn good. I love this fragrance, man. I love it. I always will have this fragrance in my collection. I'm just grabbing some scent strips so we can go and uh, smell these things because I don't want to put all 11 on my skin and uh, spray this again. Yeah, this is this is definitely CEO type fragrance right here, man. This is definitely a C. Again, Fougier, oh, no, more of a, more of a um, um, cypress, piney, rosy, powdery. That's what I get out of this fragrance, man. But this is definitely old school, rich, old money. Van Cleef and Pals, pour on. Check that one out, I'm telling you. Boss, boss. Let's move on. The next one I'm gonna go with, and that was an honorable mention. The next one I'm gonna go with, definitely is something that most people will have in their collection when they, or a CEO will have in their collection. Cause it's by a house that's known for luxury when it comes to fragrances. Tom Ford, Grey Vetiver, and it's the EDP. Again, a little earthy, green, got citrus at the top. Yeah. This is definitely a woody, woody, aromatic, a little spicy. It's definitely have that modern CEO feel. Oh yeah. This is this is definitely nice. Classy. Classy scent. I'm I'm talking gray suit. Gray vetiver. Gray suit. CEOs don't necessarily always wear ties. They wear what they want. You know, they they come to they come to a board meeting with shorts on and um, a button up short sleeve. But this one screams gray suit, white button up shirt, no tie. 
nice nice watch again this is modern modern great veteran time for it next one this one is definitely a ceo scent it's it's made by a ceo all right and he's well known in the fragrance game he gives people like me and all the other little small reviewers a shot at his fragrance or he actually sent out fragrances to the smaller guys all right he's always up to date all right i wouldn't even want to say it like that but he's always up to date when it comes to the fashion he's got his ear to the ground he knows exactly what's needed to be done to keep to keep relevant and to keep things going he's, his fashion statement is crazy all right you ever watch him or he pop on one of the videos he's always wearing like a versace shirt or his own shirt for for that matter his belt that I'm waiting on is dope as hell. That low that that Sahara logo is sick as hell. And I'm I need one of those belts, George. But anyway, from George Zaharov or Zaharov, this is signature pour on. This is definitely boss scent. Alright. This is boss all day. Oh yeah, this is boss all day. Damn. George did a hell of a job creating his fragrances. He went all over the place getting different fragrances or different um, notes or different oils from all over the world to make this classic masterpiece right here this is this is so good man this is CEO all day long oh my god it's an amber woody fragrance it's aromatic as well oh man signature wound Signature pour on Zaharoff. Oh, and this lasts a long time, man. I, I love, you know, scents like this or fragrance like this. This is only like a 60 ml, something like that. Yeah, 60 ml. I don't want to run out of this thing, man. So I wear it sparingly. When I want to make a statement, I wear this fragrance or something from his line. Uh, when my goddaughter passed away, I wore Signature Royale. I mean, because it, it just fit. The, it just fit the situation. All right, this one here, this one screams boss all day. All right, I am the boss. I am the CEO. All right, you go around certain people, you're gonna stand out because not too many people gonna don't even know about this too much. All right, it's in your in your in your small circle, you're the man. That's how this fragrance make you make you feel. You're the man. You're standing out. Signature, pour on by George Zaharoff. This fragrance right here, I got a huge bottle because I had a sample of it. And um, this reminds me of like old school Italian bosses like a John Gotti and people like that, that, that stood out. You know, they was Italian and it was like, you know, they always was dapper, was, was sharp, always in the finest suits, tailor-made suits. It's definitely a boss scent. It's from Aqua de Palma and it's Colonia Intensa. This is more old school mafia boss. Yeah, this is scream. This is classy, man. This is classy. The only bad thing about this is eau de cologne concentration. So sometimes they don't last that long. But this one, yeah, I just, I, I just see the Godfather or Scarface wearing something like this. This is a boss. Nobody in his team gonna be wearing this. This is his and his alone. He don't even tell people what they wear. That's that type of boss, CEO type of type of guy. Yeah, this is nice, man. Classy, classy and classic. But never get, never get old. Next one. This one is so damn good. From the house of Chanel, and it's not platinum Eagle This is original Eagle This is classy CEO boss scent. The only bad thing, look at the atomizer. This is one of the ugliest atomizers, period. But man, oh man, the scent itself, the scent itself, it's a warm, spicy scent. It's woody, but it screams elegance and it screams sophistication and boss. Oh Lord, this is so damn good. I don't know if it's like a sandalwood or something like that, but it is just 
amazing. It's amazing. Damn. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Chanel. Eagle East. Classy. Can't go wrong. Boss scent all day long. Another one from Chanel. And this one, definitely, definitely modern day CEO. I can see somebody like Elon Musk wearing something like this. Somebody that's young, innovative, but want to stay close to the general public, but stand out just a tad bit. Blue de Chanel, Parfum. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at with him. Definitely a, a more of a modern guy, a younger guy, CEO with lots of ambition. Oh, this is so rich. God damn. Oh. Citrus, woody, aromatic fragrance. That's how you describe this fragrance here. Oh man, this is nice. Jesus Christ. This is the best one to me of the Chanel, Blue Day Chanel's. This is definitely the best. Again, I see a younger CEO, younger boss wearing something like this. The parfum just is richer, it's thicker. Um, again, longevity plays a plays a part in this thing. This thing doesn't last that long. But I'ma tell you, it's the best from the Blue Day Chanel line, in my opinion. I have it all, I have them all. But this is the best. This is what I think a CEO will wear. Blue Day Chanel parfum. Next one, Gravitos. Gavitos. The listen. This one here. Oh man. Um, I think John said it best. The original dog man said it best. This is so upscale, man. This listen. Dan and whoever behind whoever else behind him did such a great job with this fragrance right here. Castro said it the best. This is like you take the old school polo green and you add a little fine cologne by Paul, uh, I think it's named Paul Sebastian, I think it was. And I have that one as well. That's kind of what you get, but a little bit more modern. So it's like polo meets very fine cologne, put a little green. Damn, this is good. It's a, it got a sweetness to it. It's warm and it's spicy as well. It's a fougere. Oh man. Damn, Mr. Smelly. It's a great fragrance, man. Great fragrance. I really do dig this. I really do dig this. And I ain't trying to waste this. This is. One of the ones that I keep higher up there. I kind of messed the bottle up or the, or the box up because when I was putting this list together, I had all the fragrances in the paper bag and I had it sitting on the floor. Ida came through last week. My basement got it kind of flooded and most of my boxes got damaged. Matter of fact, let me show you what the box did. Look at that box. Look at that. That's how the box is now. Got a box. Now I normally save my boxes, man. I save my boxes because you never know when you want to move or something like that and you want to keep your boxes. But anyway, Norton and Wilson's Gravitos CEO type fragrance, any CEO in the world, if they if if, if they ever get their nose on this, they'll love it. All right. Norton and Wilson's Gravitos. Next one Everybody knows should be on the list. And I'm not even going to take too long with this fragrance. I'm not going to take long at all with it, actually. Green Irish Tweed by Creed. Now, this is the older bottle. This is the 4.2 ounce bottle. And um, listen, man. Listen. Every CEO that's a CEO that knows their CEO should have this in their collection. All right? This is one of the best fragrances on the market for upscale men with power 
green Irish tweed, a staple. I could have put a Ventus, but I got rid of my Ventus. Don't have it no longer. Don't really care to own it anymore because I got so many other fra or so many other fragrances that remind me of it. Matter of fact, I wore for two days straight. I know I'm about to get off on a tangent for not a tangent, but I'm about to get off the get off the subject for a minute. For two days straight, I wore Club D Club D New Eat Intense Man. I know I can't say that word to save my life. Club D New Eat Intense Man. Two days straight, and for two days straight, I got hella compliments. Hella compliments. Quick story. Me and a partner of mine, me and my boy, we was, you know, my partner at the uh, for the day, we was working the metal detector at the, at the courthouse. And as this guy comes in, he's from like Australia, he asked me for help. So when he asked me for the help, I gave him the help. No, he, he came in first. Matter of fact, he came in first. And before he can ask for the help, me and my boy was like, yo, what you wearing? Now mind you, we got mask on. I said, man, what you wearing? He says to me, he says, oh man, I don't know what it is. You know, I, I haven't seen it over here, um, but I, I, I can I, I can uh, try to find out and send it to you because I don't think they have it over here. I bought it in Italy. So I'm like, oh, okay. I said, man, listen, if you ever, if you go home sometime soon and you have to, you happen to stop by, stop back by, can you get me the name of the fragrance? I said, better yet, I'm gonna give you my cell phone number and I want you to send it to me. Send me the, the name of the fragrance. He said, oh man, no, no problem. So I helped him with the situation that he needed. It was something about his brother. His brother was trying to get us some information, but his brother wasn't in the States. 30 minutes later, I get a text. Now I'm at home at this time. 30 minutes later, I get a text. It's from the guy. He says, I told you I was gonna do it. Here's the fragrance right here. It was Club Dini with Intense Man. And I said to my boy, I said, yo, I already have it. So I sent him a screenshot of the original video I did for one of the videos I did. I think it was the second one. I did for the All My Fragrance, talking about it. I sent him a screenshot and he said, man, you sent me a picture of some dude. I said, fool, that was me seven, about seven or eight years ago. I was, I, of course I look a little younger. He said, oh man, that was crazy. But anyway, that's what it was. And that's why I don't own, I, well, I'm not mad or upset that I sold my Creed um, Aventus because I have that and I don't, I don't need the Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus didn't give me the compliments that I get from the Amal fragrance. Not at all. But anyway, every man, every boss, or every boss, not every man, but every boss, because not everybody can afford it, every boss should have this fragrance in your collection. All right, if you're a CEO, you should have this in your collection. Got it? If you're a man with, I'm not gonna say deep pockets, because I'm not counting a man's pocket, but a man with, with, with power, and have people working underneath them, and you a CEO, you should have this fragrance in your, in your, in your collection. Cl um, Creed, Green Irish Tweed. All right, I'm running down to the last four, okay? Last four. So the next one we're gonna go to, this is one of my favorite, one of my favorite rose-based fragrances. And I'm telling you, I can see a oil, tar um, a oil, tar oil tycoon with this fragrance right here because it's, it almost has like a Middle Eastern vibe. I'm talking about um, fragrance from Paris, Monte Carlo, and this is Rose de Taif. De Taif. And I'm saying, man, this is probably the best Rose fragrance in my collection, or one of them, at least. Oh yeah. This is Rose, man. This is Rose. This is more or less like You sleeping in a bed of roses. It's rose water all around you. You in a water bed or, or, or matter of fact, you in a bath with nothing but rose petals from the the, the, the most expensive place. You in those those rose petals. And this is all you smell, man. It's rose. It's a little spicy. It's floral. It's fresh. But again, it's floral, it's spicy, a little spicy. I'm telling you, I can see an oil tycoon. Some of them big sheiks from the Middle East wearing something like this, man. And look at the bottle. Doesn't the bottle remind you of something that should be in, in one of those castles over there on somebody's 
dresser or, or shelf. Dope bottle, dope presentation. The cap kind of looked like those columns over there in the Middle East, in those big, on those big pillars. But this smell, man, rose all day, man. I'm telling you, can't go wrong with this fragrance right here. Rose based fragrance is so sick, so upscale. CEO Boss scent. Pierce Monte Carlo, Rose DT. Rounding down to the last three. I'm saving one for us as a surprise. I'm not gonna talk about this one too much because everybody know how, how I feel about this fragrance, man. Hubergant, Fugere Royale. Boss, 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 boss. Yeah, I said it multiple times. Boss, again, rich. I always tell that story and my son came to me and I said, he said, Dad, I need, to, I need a cologne to wear for the night. I said, what you, what you trying to, what you trying to um, how you trying to go out representing? He said to me, he says, I want to smell rich. Bam, through Jerry Royale is what I gave him. Can't beat this, man. And this is when I had that, 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 that non-box or tester bottle that fell and broke. It ain't gonna happen to us, the box, Got damaged a little bit, thanks to Ida. But I tell you what, it's going back in this, brother. I'm not breaking this one. Because this is hard to hard, it's really hard to find for a really decent price like I did before. I bought this for 60 bucks, under 60 bucks when I first got it. And I bought two of them. Now you can't find them. That's when Fragrance Nest was joint. Fragrance Nest was stuck. But anyway, I'm putting it back in the box. This is a CEO fragrance all day long. I don't have to say too much about it. It's aromatic, it's fresh spicy, it's a fruitier, can't go wrong with it. This is the modern day king of fruitiers right here. Fruitier Royale by Hubergant. If you ain't got your nose on it, please do so. This is a blind, this is blind by worthy right here, okay? Blind by worthy. Fruitier Royale, putting it back in the box. Next one, this was a gift from my wife for Christmas. This was a gift from my wife for Christmas. I actually wore this on my birthday, for my 50th birthday party um, that she threw for me, man. She's she's my everything. She's my everything. She she definitely is. Love that lady. Love my family. Um, but this is the one she gave me two years ago. She actually bought it while we was in LA. Well, she she came across it in LA. Later on, a couple months later, I had it in my possession. But this was by. Armand Jane and this is Armand Man. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is woody, aromatic, warm and spicy fragrance. Oh man. Again, CEO all day long. Now there's another one that I want to get my hands on by Armand Jane. I think it's like um Tibet. Monta, Monta something to back or something like that. I want to get my my hands on that, man. I want to full bottle that. Someday soon I will be getting it. But this is an amazing scent. I'll tell you a quick story. This is in Dallas. Me and the guys, like we normally do. And um, we met up with, I, I met up with Israel. He met us at Bombshells. And as I, we pulled up, he pulled up, I pulled up. I got off the car, Iz came up, he said, what's up Sam, like, what up Iz, when he got close to me, I'm like, yo, hold on, what are you wearing, he said, oh man, that's Amon Jane, Amon Man, I'm like, god damn, that smells good, I got to get it, thanks to my wife, I have it in my possession, Boss Scent, again, fresh, spicy, woody fragrance, this is, oh, man, this is nice, man, this is nice, your hands on it i'm on jane definitely try this one all right lastly because i know this video is going kind of long this one right here something i ran across and i bought it and i think i bought it because of the bot because of the, the uh cap all right the cap is a greyhound all right so if you know what i'm talking about when i say greyhound you got to know i'm talking about trusati all right i'm talking about trusati and this is probably going <laughs> going to be one of my favorite fragrances and I'm gonna get maybe two more backup bottles if I can do that. Cause they, they're cheap price, all right? 
It's from that Laviera, Laviera collection. Laviera collection is what, it, what it's called. And this is Umo Laviera by Dressati. Look at the Greyhound head, right? Got this little card or something that's attached to it. It feel like it's like a leather or something. Oh wait, it got the notes on it. So at the top, you have Italian lemon, bergamot, gabanon, or, yep, gabanon, nutmeg, and in the hearts you have clary sage, geranium, violet leaves, and in the dry down, you have patchouli, moss accords, and leather accord. It's a fougier, woody fragrance. And like I said to you, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite fragrances, man. And I got to get the backup bottle. I'm gonna spray this one on the hand. Got to bleed that on a, on a forearm. This is boss scent. Boss. You wear this around people, you are gonna be feeling like or smelling like you're the boss if you're not, even if you're not. Oh man. You're gonna feel like you're the boss. You're gonna feel it. This thing is amazing. Oh man, I have Black Extreme. I have the roll on um, the red Umo. I, I think that's the name of it. I also have Blue Land, and I got those from from I got Blue Land and Red from my boy Chad. This one I stepped out on my own. I purchased right along with the Black Extreme because I like Black Extreme. But this one sets itself apart from Black Extreme. It's so well blended. So upscale. Again, you are definitely going to set yourself apart. You're going to look like you're the boss. All right, you're going to feel like you feel like you're the boss, and you're going to smell like you're the boss. This is a CEO type of fragrance right here. All CEOs should have this in the collection if they've ever smelt it. Well, I put it like this: if they smell it, they're going to have this in their collection. All right. There's my uh, twelve. There's my twelve CEO type fragrances. From my collection now you might disagree with some of them and that's cool we all gonna have a different opinion all right but i'd like to know what your 10 top ceo type fragrance will be from your collection all right it's your boy sam broom signing off peace Back to doing another video.